today I'm aboard the 2019 Specialized Stump Jumper Expert in the 27.5 wheel size. It's a great little medium trail bike. Dirty jumping stumps. For me, the new cockpit feels nice and roomy. It actually seemed a little too long when I first started riding the bike, so I moved the seat all the way forward on the rails, but I've been running it in the, the low setting because I tend to like the feeling of a lower bottom bracket. And then I did find that the stack height was a bit too tall in the front end for me, so I've slammed the stem all the way down and it feels really good now. It doesn't feel like it's sagging into its travel a bunch or super plush, it just feels kind of higher sprung. Feels like there's a pretty good pedaling platform. These 2.6 inch tires are pretty incredible. They kind of deform and cling to things. You can run them at a lower pressure with a higher volume and they seem to be sticking well in sloppy conditions. They put the a butcher up front and they're purgatory in the back both with a grid casing which is nice it's a very nimble feeling bike in this setup and it really gives you some good tight switchback cornering confidence which is i think something you'd expect in a bike this size this bike's got some great tried and tested specs on it it's got the RockShox Pike Fork with a new debonair spring, so it feels pretty supple right off the top and then gets plenty supportive, which is a great feeling for a kind of a mid-travel bike like this. It's got the Deluxe in the rear, which had to put quite a bit of pressure in for my weight and uh, required a good amount of rebound damping. The new asymmetrical frame is really sweet. I Really like the look of it, and it just feels like a very stiff bike. Time for the downhill. This place is a bit of a winter wonderland today. Oh my gosh. You guys, this thing corners like mad. Oh my gosh. It just feels low to the ground. And poppy and playful as well. My goodness. I just feel a lot of confidence. Just feels like an Indy car through these woods right now. And that stiffness just adds to that experience. <laughs> oh, yeah, this thing's a blast. Fast and fun feels very, very progressive, kind of stiff. But forgiving in this really precision way. I just feel like I know exactly what's going on underneath me. Yeah, these guide, these guide brakes are plenty. They're stopping me last minute. I am coated in mud, but yet I just don't want to tan. This stumpy is stout and it's stiff. And it's just easy to get low in corners. Super muddy today, but yet I have nothing but confidence that I know exactly where the bike is going. Not to mention just like the last minute jump ability. It just kind of has such good pop and it's so light that you can kind of make any little tranny that you dream up. <laughs> well, my final thoughts on this bike are it's just an excellent all around trail bike that has this really forgiving yet precise feel. Great for 
hitting jumps, going mock speed through the woods, and excellent for blowing up corners. So if you like this review, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. For the full write-up, go to freehubmag.com.